Welcome back to Daily Flash. Let's check in now with Fabian Macarno. He's got the beat. Hey, what's up? It's Fabian from Daily Flash Latino. And ladies and gentlemen, today on the beat, it's official. The new Bad Bunny album is on its way. After much speculation, Bad Bunny has confirmed his next album. He tweeted a list with the word fire in 20, 22 spaces, which is exactly what he did before his latest album, Un Verano Sin Ti. This tweet came after many rumors circulating about the album following his Vanity Fair article, which pretty much revealed that the context of the interview is related to the upcoming album. Bad Bunny denied the news on his WhatsApp channel. Who read the Vanity Fair is what Bad Bunny sent his message to his fans in Spanish. And he said, haha, someone tell me where I said or when I said anything about releasing an album this year. It looks like they were just tactics to divert the fans. And since we now have an important clue from the Puerto Rican superstar himself, and if there's anything to remember from last year, when he also drops the number of songs in a tweet, one Sunday, he released the album a few days later in the same week. Is it possible we'll, we'll get a new Bad Bunny album this same week? Maybe Friday the 13th or later this month? Maybe maybe next year? I don't know. You, you tell me. Maybe he hosts it on the Saturday Night Live October 21st. We'll find out. But there's also no longer a wait. The wait is completely over. The long-awaited Drake and Bad Bunny collaboration gently is finally out. That second up on the beat gently is a part of the Canadian rapper's new album for all the dogs. The track opens with a slow bass heavy beat with Canadian rapper singing Spanglish. He says, I've been El Chico for 50 años. And he declares at one point, just before the one minute mark, the slower the beat gets, it gives away to a faster pace than Bo. And Drake starts to drop his verses with a Caribbean flair. And then Bad Bunny joins in the Dembo track, starts to kill it, and the bass intensifies. Throughout the song, there are multiple references to Dominican Republic, a place that pretty much is uh, a source of inspiration for both of these artists. Dominican Drake is a long existing fan, a persona on the internet, and Drake has been known to be a fan of the Caribbean island and the culture, and has woven references to it in his music and his music videos, his fashion choices, and gently also marks the second time the two emblematic, emblematic uh, rappers have been collaborating together. In 2018, the duo released Mia from part of Benito's debut album, si Por Siempre. Now it seems Drake will take some of the time and take it away from the music, focus on his health and family, so be sure to enjoy what we got up to now. And last on the beat, we got Kid Cudi. He's preparing to release a massive album in 2024. This is a big project. The rapper, act slash actor, announced the plans to, to release Insano, his new, his new album. Before it arrives in 2024, his album, which was pushed back to next year, is, is expected to be his longest album yet. According to the Cleveland native, his forthcoming album will be over 40 tracks. The total amount of songs includes both his originals and del deluxe versions of his album. And Cuddy says that there's 40 plus songs on Insano between the main album and the deluxes. And you're welcome, basically. Your 2024 is going to be good. And he's been he's been hype about this. The next LP ever since he he basically first revealed the idea for it earlier this year. Not only did he announce the album too, but he also teased prob uh, plans for a world tour. So Cuddy initially planned to drop his it last month, but it had to be pushed back. Instead of the album, he decided to share two new singles from the project. They're called I'll Be All What, All What, Ill What I Bleed, and Most Ain't Dennis. Insano will be Cuddy's follow-up to his Intergalactic album, which also served as the soundtrack for his Netflix special for the same name. And his next LP will arrive in January 20, 2024, so stay tuned for that. I wonder how many people are going to be listening to 40 songs on one album, but we'll find out. I'm Fabian Marcano from The Beat and Daily Flash Latino, so be sure to check us out. Head to our website, dailyflashlatino.com, to check your local listings and times.